Football is more than just a game. It's a canvas where dreams are painted, where triumphs are celebrated, and where tears of joy and sorrow flow freely. So today, I've made a list of the six most emotional moments in the sport, starting with this Argentinian legend's heart-wrenching tribute to his late grandmother. Angel Di Maria, the football superstar, took to the field in the Copa America Centenario's group stage game against Chile. He's got the ball, he's dribbling, and BAM! He scores a fantastic goal, leaving the Chilean goalkeeper scratching his head. Turns out, this goal wasn't just any ordinary goal. Di Maria dedicates it to his late grandmother, who recently passed away. Talk about a heartfelt tribute! It must have been tough for Di Maria to talk about it, but instead, he let his fancy footwork do the talking. Now, that's what I call a goal with some serious grand magic. And it's not just Di Maria going through the emotions on the pitch. Nothing brings tears like when Luis Suarez, the goal-scoring machine, bid farewell to the Atletico fans. But hey, it's not just any farewell, it's an emotional roller coaster, people. As he claps and praises the supporters, he's like, Hey, you guys are amazing! I couldn't have asked for a better bunch of fans to cheer me on! And uh, let me tell you, it's not just tears of joy, my friends. Suarez is really feeling it, like the last piece of cake slipping away from him. You know, that, ah, it's the last time I'll wear this jersey kind of moment. Emotions were running wild like a bunch of kids at a candy store. Can you believe it? The club wanted him. They really, really did. It's like Atletico said, We want you, Luis, to come to us and let's score some goals together. And he was like, Deal! Let's do this! But now it's time to say goodbye, and Suarez is just overflowing with appreciation. He's like, Gracias, Atletico fans. You've been the wind beneath my wings. I mean, I've seen thank you cards with less heartfelt messages. We'll miss you, Suarez. Now go rock those new colors and make some magic happen. Oh man, the highs and lows we witness in football are sometimes unbelievable. The office or the pitch, it doesn't matter where, but sometimes we all have those terrible days. And it was no different for this poor goalkeeper in the Chelsea vs Tottenham game. Talk about a horror mistake. His team lost an important goal, and boy, you could see the disappointment written all over his face. But then, out of nowhere, here comes the hero from the opposing team. This keeper shows some serious sportsmanship and consoles the heartbroken goalie. What a legend! It's moments like these that restore your faith in the beauty of sports. And that's not all. Brace yourself for some Carabao Cup action. Chelsea's Mason Tony Mount steps up for a crucial penalty against Tottenham. Oh, the pressure was intense. But alas, he puts the ball wide. Oops! The Spurs players burst into celebration with their goalkeeper, except for one guy. Eric Dyer, the sweetheart. He rushes over to console his English teammate before joining the party. Ah, isn't that just heartwarming? It's moments like these that show us the true essence of sports. Camaraderie, compassion, and a sprinkle of humor. Kudos to all the players who lift each other up and show us that even in the toughest moments, there's room for kindness and a good laugh. What a tear-jerker of a game that was. And speaking of tear-jerking games, what an amazing sight it was in the Barcelona vs. Rio game. Dani Alves and Thiago Alcantara couldn't contain their joy as they celebrated right in front of the passionate Rayo Vallecano fans after Barca scored. The crowd erupted with mixed emotions, some taken aback by the perceived disrespect. However, their captain, the one and only Carlos Puyol, stepped in with incredible sportsmanship. He urged his teammates to stop the celebration and promptly returned to the field, setting an example for everyone. I mean, seriously, what a captain! In the meantime, a young Barca player, sensing the disappointment of the orange-clad Rayo Vallecano team, offered consolation. These orange-clad youngsters, with tears streaming down their faces, were heartbroken by the loss. But the Barca kids? They truly showed the spirit of sportsmanship. 
They went over to the defeated team and showered them with advice and comforting hugs. Can you believe it? Such compassion and maturity in such young hearts. It warms my heart to witness this incredible display of kindness and camaraderie among kids. And often in life, children can be a source of joy. And in this particular instance, all our hearts warmed when Nicolo Barea seems so caring. In a heartwarming moment, Nicolo Barea attempts to kick the ball out of the pitch, but fate takes an unexpected turn. The ball finds its way to an innocent ball boy's face, causing a bit of a shock. But fear not, dear viewers, for what comes next is truly touching. Barea's concern is instant and genuine as he rushes to the boy's side, making sure he's all right. The remorse in Barea's eyes is unmistakable, and with a heartfelt apology, he pulls the boy into a warm, comforting embrace. A true testament to his character. And just like that, after showing his sincere regret and care, he returns to the pitch, ready to continue the game. It's moments like these that remind us of the humanity in sports, and even in unexpected mishaps, there can be moments of love and connection. Bravo, Brea! The next one is the thrilling 2016 Euro Final, and the tension is sky high. Suddenly, our beloved Cristiano Ronaldo takes a tumble and gets hurt right at the start of the game. Ouch! The pain on his face is excruciating, but he's determined to keep going in this nail-biting final. Poor Ronaldo, you could see how devastated he was, desperately trying everything to stay on that pitch. But alas, fate had other plans for him, and he had no choice but to bid farewell. Talk about frustration, my friend. He couldn't do a thing about it. However, here comes the twist. Lady Luck smiled upon Portugal and they ended up winning the European Championship. Imagine the relief for Ronaldo, knowing that his teammates pulled through for him. It's like they said, Ronaldo, sit back, relax, we've got this. What a roller coaster of emotions, but it all ended in a joyous celebration for Portugal. Ronaldo was very fortunate to avoid a permanent injury, but sadly enough, Sergio Aguero was not blessed with the same amount of luck. Oh, it was such a heart-wrenching moment during a Barca game when Sergio Aguero felt an agonizing pain in his throat, and you could see he was struggling to catch his breath. The tension in the stadium was palpable as the medics rushed onto the field to help him, and he bravely decided to step off the pitch for medical reasons. Little did we know that this decision would lead to a devastating revelation. It turned out that Sergio had been diagnosed with cardiac arrhythmia. Imagine the shock and concern that swept through the hearts of fans worldwide. We all held our breath, hoping for good news. But alas, fate had a different plan. The news came that, at the young age of 33, Sergio had no choice but to retire from football, following the doctor's advice. It was like a dark cloud hanging over the football community leaving us feeling a mixture of sadness and admiration for Sergio's courageous decision. He had given us so many incredible moments on the field, and it's tough to see someone with such talent and passion for the game forced to step away. Our hearts go out to him and his family during this difficult time. Football will miss his magic, but his health and well-being come first. Those were some really emotional times, man but to support us for the future, please like and subscribe.